Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like this. Woo hoo hoo hoo. I've been waiting for this. Come on. Huh. I'm sorry. I'm God. I don't know what just happened. I don't know what came over me. I don't know why I got so aggressive. I don't I just I'm sorry I beat the shit out of you. Look! What's poppin' Snake Gang? I hope you guys are all having a great day, great trading week, whatever it is for you guys right now. I hope it's going positive. With that being said, man, look, I'm gonna take this $10 and I'm gonna turn it into 1K. There's no set amount of time that I'm gonna do so. I mean, this could take 10, 15, even 30 episodes. Who knows? It just depends on how the markets treat me. Regardless of that, I'm not gonna be risking a lot per trade. I don't wanna risk 90% of my account and try to grow this thing overnight. It's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna do this slowly at my own pace and show you guys that it's very possible to grow $10 into 1K. I know a lot of you guys don't have big accounts. There's nothing wrong with that. If you have a small account, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no reason that you need to have a big account to trade Forex. There's no reason. Start slow, build your way up, and next thing you know, you have yourself a big account. Okay, so if anyone tells you, oh, you don't have enough to trade, that's bullshit. I don't wanna hear that. You came to the right place. I'm gonna show you how to grow these small accounts live. Basically, all that's going to happen here is I'm going to show you guys like my entire week vlog style, like literally live. You're going to be with me. If I'm taking a shit, you're going to be there with me. If I'm in the shower, you're going to be there with me. What? That's too far. But if I hop in a trade, you're going to be here live looking at my computer screen with me as I'm looking at this trade. I like this trade because of this setup. I'm getting in. Show you guys that I input how much how much lots I input, my stop loss, my take profit, and then together we're gonna wait to see how profits end up happening or you know negatives, and you're gonna see me take my profit or my stop loss get hit. Whatever happens, you're gonna see it live. Basically, without complicating things, let me just say it this way: you're gonna see things live. This is gonna be live. This is not past events. I'm showing you me trade live all week. You guys request live videos. Here you go. This whole series is damn live. I'm not gonna show you every single trade, but I'm gonna show you the good ones. I'm gonna show you a few of them throughout the week, but I'm not gonna show you every little trade I get in. It'd be like an hour long video, but I will show you trades that I'm getting in throughout the week, okay? With that being said, a lot of you guys are wondering, what about the $100 to 10K challenge? That challenge is still going. These two challenges are both gonna be going. These series are gonna be completed within the next few months. I promise you, I did not quit on that challenge. I haven't posted YouTube videos in a while. So how am I gonna do that challenge if I haven't posted videos? I'm barely coming back. So let's get these two series done. I hope you guys learn a lot from this series. I hope you guys can see why I'm taking the trades I'm taking, my mentality, everything. You guys are gonna learn everything. I'm done talking, but look, if you guys want a broker that lets you deposit $10 into a trading account, go down below, click the link in my description box, sign up with my broker, it takes like 10 seconds, Deposit $10 and you can do this challenge just like I am. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, follow my Instagram, join the free chat, the link's down below, all that good stuff, all that good stuff, I'm done talking. Let's get straight into this challenge, man, and let's load the account with $10. Check it out, guys, we just loaded the account. We have a $10 account loaded up, of course. I don't think you can do a $10 demo account, but there you go, it's live. We'll go to the history tab real quick. Boom. $10 deposit, baby. Let's go. Let's go. So it's currently Sunday. Markets just open, so I'm not really going to look too aggressively for setups. I mean, I'll, I'll glance the markets and everything, but I'm going to wait till the London session tonight and kind of just wait for markets to start to move more. I don't really want to get in while they're adjusting. It's not always smart to trade on Sundays, but I'm going to go ahead and wait. I'll let you guys know. I'll bring you guys back in, preferably to say when um, when something good happens, when I see some movement, and uh, hopefully we can get a good setup tonight, man, because I'm anxious to get this account going up. I'm anxious, man. I'm anxious. So yeah, I'll bring you guys back in soon. What's poppin' snake gang? It's the next day. I'm just waking up. Hair popping out of my hat. Oh my God. Wow. Either way, I'm looking at this trade right now. I'm gonna get in, actually. Odd USD. I'm looking at this on the H4. As you guys can see, Oh my God, it won't let me zoom in. Looking at this trade on the H4, we are at a very overbought point, a little bit of a resistance on the major time frames, and then look, we broke out of our Bollinger Band, about to hit the very top of our RSI, indicating a very overbought market. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in for a sell here and try to ride this thing down a little bit and just see what happens. So let's go ahead and get in. We're gonna get in for a 0.02 sell, odd USD. And I'm gonna try to ride this thing down just as far as I can, man. I'm seeing divergence as well as an over, over, overbought market. So hopefully this thing falls down, man. We can just ride it all the way to the bottom. But I'll get back with you guys when price starts to move. Yo, it's Papa Snake Gang. So <sighs> it's literally the next day, four o'clock in the morning. Put my uh, put my merch hat on real quick because my hair's 
Wild. Check out this. Check this out. Check out this. Check this out. So like I said guys, Odd USD was going to drop, as you guys can see. Told you guys we'd ride this out. As you can see, it's approaching the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. So we're going to go ahead and get out here. Currently up $7. Going to close this order. Oh my god. Boop. Putting our price, or our account I should say, sorry it's 4.30 in the morning, at $16 with 87 cents. One trade in, 35 pip gain. Beautiful trade, yes it took a while to happen, but a beautiful trade nonetheless. And we are up 68% on the account. Alright, so I'm getting in for a buy here on NZDCHF. As you guys can see, price has broken through all of that consolidation, and now it retested it as a support. Not only that, our moving averages crossed over to a bullish market. So I do think price is going to continue to the upside, probably to that line I have marked up up there. Just about that point, but I also think it could, you know, reach potential highs up in this area. But very simple trade, guys. All I see is that we're in a clear uptrend on the H4, which I could show you guys. H4, we're in a clear uptrend. So I go to my smaller time frame, such as the M, oh my god, M15. Okay, and it's hard to see because it won't focus, but once I saw those moving averages cross over, I then waited for it to pull back. Which, as you guys can see, if I'll zoom it in because it's really hard to see for some reason. As you guys can see, that giant red candlestick was a beautiful pullback as a support. Now that we use that as a support, price should bounce up pretty high. We'll see what happens here, guys. But, you know, everything's looking pretty dang good for us. We'll see. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take my profit right here. $1.12. Take my profit here. Okay. $18 is what our account's at. We're up 80% on the account. Show you guys why I'm taking my profit here. As you guys can see, we're breaking out of those Bollinger Bands again like I showed you earlier. So price could easily still fall from this point. So we're taking our profit a tiny bit early, but the account is at $8 profit and two trades. So let's go ahead and browse the market, see if we can find any more setup, and I will come back to you when we find another one. All right, guys, another trade setup just occurred. We're breaking, or we're not breaking, we're actually rejecting this beautiful resistance line on GBP odd. Looking at the hourly, if you look at our Bollinger Bands, we're breaking above them as well at a very high RSI point. Price should drop pretty decently. So I'm going to pull, uh, I'm going to put in a sell and kind of just ride this out as well as the first trade. Or as, <laughs> like I did the first trade. But I'm going to hold this and just watch it and pretty much ride it out to the bottom as much as I can. I'll put my stops at break even when I have to, stuff like that. But we're going to ride this out as smooth as possible. Um, if you guys want to see a little strategy breakdown how I scalp using the Bollinger Bands, Leave a comment down below and maybe just maybe I'll get that video out for you guys and show you guys exactly how I scalp Using Bollinger Bands and how I use them in my everyday trading. Like I said, just leave a comment. Maybe I'll get that out for you guys Maybe 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 Okay, so we're coming to a little support line kind of risky especially with the time, you know, it's gonna be pretty close to uh the sessions that you don't really want to trade. So I'm going to close my profits here. And our account is at $19.29. We are scalping our way right up. Love scalping. It's kind of like my uh, my go-to. So I'm going to keep scalping and uh, growing this baby up. I'll see you guys when I see another trade. This is why monitoring things are so important. As you guys can see, I saw this little support. Now resistance line being respected and rejected. That's why I closed. And as you can see, it was respected once more. Always monitor your trades, guys. Very important, man. Very important. Let's look for some more setups soon. Jeez, bro. I can't even take a shit without a setup occurring. Oh, my God. Look at this setup. NZDCHF, obviously, we got out of our buy. As you can see, a beautiful resistance line was made. But not only are we making that resistance, check this out. Top of the RSI, as well as breaking out of those Bollinger Bands again. Let's try to ride this down for a sell. But I also have a very tight stop loss just above this resistance line. So if it breaks, we're not going to lose much. That's hop right in for a sell. There you have it, guys. We're in for a sell. We'll go ahead and have our stops just above that resistance line. And we'll kind of just wait it out. But so far, we're pretty much making all these trades using scalping strategies for my goddamn phone. If you guys want a video on how I scalp and do all this stuff all for my phone, let me know down below and I will get that out for you guys. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm scalping and stuff and not really using my Fibonacci or anything like that. The reason is is because we have such a small account, I feel like my Fibonacci setups are not going to be as valid because of the simple fact that I can't really have a 60 pip stop loss with a 100 pip take profit like I'd like to have. 
because 60 pips on that $10 account minimum is $6. So I don't want to take a 60% loss right away. That's why I'm kind of using these Bollinger Bands and this RSI to just kind of scout my way up. And then once we have a bigger account with more capital, then we'll start using my Fibonacci like you guys are used to me using and we'll start going for the big boy trades and we will start to grow this joint up. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far, smash that like button. I hear somebody. Oh, what's up, son? What's up, son? How you doing? <laughs> but man, if you, like I said, if you guys are enjoying the video, smash that like button. And also follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing giveaways soon. So MombaFX Trading, follow that joint. Follow it right now. Pause the damn video. Follow it, bro. Damn, man. Stop playing with me, bro. So as you can see, price has started to drop down. We are currently up about a dollar. Um, one thing I don't like, and I'll take you to the 15 to show you. It's so hard to see on this screen. Um, one thing that I don't like is that we are kind of rejecting that little bit of a support line. So I'm going to probably put my stops to break even and kind of just let this ride out. But price did exactly what I said. Went under the Bollinger Bands at this point, kind of moving away from the RSI. So like I said, it could still continue up. We kind of already have to take our pips here. Um, but I'm going to put my stops to break even and let it ride out instead. As you can see, price is still moving. We're up $1.15. Um, so pretty much going to stops to break even and then let it ride out. And I'll let you guys know what happens with this trade. Okay, risk-free trade. Stops are at break even. Easily, easily, easily could hit take profit. Easily could come back because of the fact that we're on that support line. We will go ahead and see what happens, but take profit is looking pretty damn close. Also, break even is looking like it could get tapped out because, like I said, that support line. But the main thing is you guys see what I see, and you guys can see why it could go the wrong way at this point. So we'll go ahead and see what happens here, man. Major resistance on that freaking 30. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, guys. Again, we have the exact same setup. Let me just open this real quick. We have the exact same setup, but on GBP USD. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in for a sell here for a 0.02 as well. Um, of course, we have NZDCHF is still working out pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but NZDCHF looking good. GBP USD just opened. Gonna look at the stop loss and take profit right now. But essentially, it's the same exact thing. We're at the top of the RSI. Um, opened up on the Bollinger Bands on the H1, but M15 not so much. But we're still very high on the RSI. So. Uh, we have a rejection to the upside as well, so this should fall pretty decently. Um, NZDCHF, as I said, is break even, so whatever happens there happens. Nothing crazy to look at, but um, yeah, everything's looking good, guys. We're gonna go ahead and hold these trades for the day, see what happens, and I'll come back to you guys in a few. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy some time with family and just kick back while these trades take place. All right, guys. So I took profit on NZDCHF and GBPUSD because consolidation is about to occur with both of the trades. Um, of course, that's not guaranteed. But, you know, once the time starts to change and, you know, the Tokyo session starts to come around, stuff like that, things can slow down. So, we're currently at $21.51 cents on the account. We have no losses yet, but I think I want to get in a gold trade. <sighs> it's a tough one for me. It's such a tough one because, like, gold is so much more volatile right now. And, like, honestly, we can lose a lot of money with it. But we can also gain a lot of money and take a big jump on the account. So, it's like, uh, do I want to or do I not? I'm really thinking about getting in this gold trade, though, guys. I'm really thinking about it. What's poppin' guys? I'm at the beach right now currently, but um, just wanna show you guys something real quick. Um, you know, not a green screen. I'm at the beach. I ended up taking this buy on Euro NZD earlier this morning. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I saw and how I caught these pips. And then I will um, pretty much go over where the account's at right now and we'll do stuff like that. What's poppin' yo? Y'all ready for this shit? Hope you guys like the new camera angle. I hope it looks good. Or I don't know why I said camera angle. The new camera setup, kind of like there's no more box around me. I'm just chilling down here alone. I feel like butt naked. Oh my God. I want to show you guys this Euro NZD trade, like I said. Show you guys what I saw, what was going on in my mind, and all that good shit. So I put it in rewind mode, and here's pretty much what we're looking at, okay? Price has respected the zone twice now. I never got in here because there wasn't really a, five, a 15 minute entry and you know I don't get on four hours and just get in. I wait for my 15 minute entries, okay? So, as you can see, it's kind of approaching it again and shablang, boy! Look at this motherfucking uh, 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 rejection on this support. Like, that's beautiful. So what are we gonna do from this point on? We're gonna go ahead and go to our 15 minute chart and we're gonna start looking for our buy position. What do I mean by our buy position? We're gonna look using our Fibonacci and maybe even a moving average crossover, which can be beautiful. And I think I went over that with you guys in this video. If not, 
Um, the red moving average is a 50, it's an SMA, and then the blue one is an 8, okay? Anytime the red is on the top, it's a sell. Anytime this is on the bottom, like here, we're looking at buys, okay? Very simple. So, check this out. Price is making its way up, and, um, you know, don't really see a Fibonacci entry yet, but I'll let you know when we do, okay? We already know we're looking for buys. As you guys can see, look at our red moving average getting ready to cross to the bottom, signifying a bullish market. Okay, so now that would be two confirmations once we see that crossover. Boom, crossover occurs. Okay, now we have a good spot to draw our Fibonacci. Take it from here to this push and wait, okay? Each candlestick we wait. This is exactly how you use your Fibonacci live. Literally took it from this push up because this is where markets started to get kind of, you know, bullish, very strong. Not here, because markets moved up, but then they consolidated. I'm doing it here because this is where that main push occurred until we see the rejections back to our zone. If it hits our zone, it may not, but let's check. Okay, boom, boom, and see how I set my Fibonacci up, and I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting, okay, you see this wick is a little bit higher, so we're gonna adjust it to that spot. Okay, if it ever gets any higher, you're just to keep adjusting it. But at that point, you know, we wouldn't really do much because it's consolidating again. Okay, boom, getting close. We did not get our entry yet. Okay, are we gonna miss our entry? Boom, beautiful rejection to our gold zone, guys. What do we do here? We get in. We target everything that we can, okay? We're gonna target the top of this for our first, target the top of this for our second, okay? What would have happened? Boom, straight up, straight up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't quite remember exactly where I took my profit just because of the fact that we have such a small account. Um, I'm, I'm playing this a little bit differently than I normally would. Normally I would put my stops to break even and this and that, which I actually did here, but I just, I, I, I pulled out a little bit early. You know, I pulled out early, kind of mad at myself because it kind of did continue to the upside as you guys can see, it did come back down. But then, you know, I think overall our take profit got smashed. Maybe not, it did. So we would have overall caught like 38 pips. Didn't catch that unfortunately for me, but. Fair play. I actually think I took profit on the way back down a little bit because I was sure that it was respecting this as a, um, right here. I think I saw this occur right there and then I took profit somewhere on the way down. I, I don't 100% I don't remember. Was not, uh, was not expecting it to come back up. Things happen. These type of things happen. Can't really beat yourself down on it, guys. Don't just sit there and be like, man, I really messed up by doing that. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Um, I'm not sure exactly where the account's at. I think we're at like $26 right now. Um, it's Thursday, so I haven't traded a lot. Yo, all right, Snake Gang. So I'm looking at GBP JPY. It's currently about five o'clock. Um, here's what I'm seeing with GBP JPY. I'm seeing this little support line has been broken and now retested. Not only that, check this out, guys. Boom, we have our moving average crossover, red on top, meaning it's a sell position. Right, so now let's go to the 15 minute chart and see what we see, okay? Look at these wicks to this area. Wick to wick, this wick area has now kissed this wick area. Price should break below all of this and shoot down. If it doesn't, I'll have my stop loss just below, or just above this resistance line. That way if it comes back up, we won't take very big of an L. Um, and because it's such a tight stop loss, I'm gonna do a 0 0.03, only risking a very small percentage of the account, okay? So let's go ahead and get in here, man. I'm hoping that price ends up breaking pretty low down to this area, um, depending on what we see over here. Probably down to this area. Ooh, down to this area here, as you guys can see. Nice. Okay, that's what I think is going to happen. It also can make a mirror effect, but you know, we'll see what happens, man. I really believe price is going to drop heavy here. So hopefully, we can end the week off right. Let me go ahead and hop in this trade for you guys. All right, guys. GBP JPY. Here we go, baby, here we go. Don't do us dirty, man. Don't do us dirty. Yo, check me out, baby. Like I told you guys, oh my God. Beautiful, beautiful drop, just as I suspected would happen. We're at the bottom of those Bollinger Bands. We're at the bottom of the RSI. So we're definitely gonna close this order. I'm not taking any chances. $8.77, putting us at $36 with 33 cents. So. As you guys can see in the background, all these kids are looking at my car. <laughs> but, uh, man, we had a great week so far. Um, you know, we'll see how things go. Current account's at like 36 bucks, so, you know, we'll see how things go, man. I don't want to push it any more trades just because I'm really happy where we're at. 
we had a really solid week so far but if you know if by chance i see a really good setup like that again tonight best believe i'm hopping in that trade i'm hopping in that trade you can't you can't take you know you can't take the trader out of the game you know what i'm saying if i see a setup i'm hopping in i'm doing a, a standard you know what i'm saying i'm not doing a standard don't ever push no damn standards on those 36 dollars you can't anyways no broker's gonna allow that not even not, not even my broker allows that man not even my broker allows that but yeah guys i'll see you guys tonight's london session like i said it is thursday so we'll see uh we'll see if we can um get maybe one more trade we'll push for one more trade man i, I really hope so but um these kids are surrounding me because they think my car's so cool I opened the door. Butterfly doors, oh my god. <laughs> it is what it is, man. Chokey B. Oh, this shit haunted. I'm out, guys. Nah, but on a serious note, really quick, just want to kind of go over that gold trade really quick. Oz, Oz, as you guys could have saw, um, I pretty much saw a break in a retest on the H4. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are like, I thought you said don't trade the H4. Like, go to the 15 and look for your entries. No, but this is the thing. There was a lot of confirmations there. Not only did I see that break and retest, but there was already stuff I was seeing. And I was like, on the H4, I was seeing that we were on top of the Bollinger Bands. We closed above them. And we were up there on the RSI. So I already knew that gold was a very, very overbought market. So it had to come down eventually. So once I saw a break and retest on top of it being in the Bollinger Bands up there and everything like that, I knew like, oh my god, this shit is going to drop. Got in? And it dropped. It's very simple, guys. My strategies are very simple. I just... I naked trade a lot of this stuff, but I also use these little indicators. But like what I'm trying to say is I use so many different things that there's not just one strategy for me. I kind of adapted to the market and I know the way the market moves. So when I see break and retest or Fibonacci zones or this or that, I know which way the market's going to move because I've been watching them so closely for the last few years that I can see these tiny movements that they make before something big happens. Very simple. You can get there too, but you really got to dedicate yourself and just look at these markets every day, every night, like nonstop. And you will get there too. You just really got to put in the time. You know what I'm saying? Really, really adapt and really figure these markets out. And, you know, you'll, you'll be there eventually. Just keep practicing. Do not, do not give up, guys. Please don't give up, man. We turned $10 into $46 this week. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, once this hits 1K, I'm going to withdraw it and, you know, give all of the profits to you guys. I'll probably do like 10 giveaways, $100 each, and just fill up people's accounts with $100 accounts or whatever it is. So, I'll end up doing something like that when I, once I hit 1K. Just thought I'd let you guys know that really quick. With all that being said, man, I'm about to go to the park. I'm going to show you guys what I do on a Friday morning and, um, you know, get a little hoop session. Yeah, boy. There's people staring at me, and I'm not a vlogger, so. Kind of awkward. Holy shit, everyone's just staring at me because I have an eye and a camera, so they probably think I'm Jake Paul or something. I might not be a vlogger, but I am a hooper. So I'm calling out any YouTube hooper. Cash Nasty, Blight Reacts, Frigga, anybody who thinks they're hoopers, even though they're not because they're not like me, come 1v1 me for 5K. Let everyone know. $5,000 for a one-on-one. -on -one. Easy call, anybody. LeBron James, scared. Dwight Howard, scared. Steph Curry, scared. Cash Nasty, definitely scared because I DM'd him. He's scared. 5K, 1v1. Don't be a bitch. Check me out. Check me out. I'm going to show you all some skills real quick. Chokey B.
back snake gang so we just got back from the park i want to show you guys the last two trades that we took on the computer so that's what we're looking at right now i had a problem earlier with the green screen where it kept like showing my the last thing that i searched up i have no idea why i was doing that we should be good now chart should be loaded up i i don't even know what i looked up last anyways probably something like you know bible verses and stuff like that because that's usually what i'm looking up but um yeah so we're looking here on gold and so Looking here on gold, bro, this is pretty much what we just kind of went over. I know you guys didn't really get to see it like this because the simple fact is it was like 5 a.m. I just woke up, saw a setup occur that I was waiting for on my phone, literally got in for a sell, showed you guys a little edit, yada, yada, yada. But basically all I saw was this break and a retest pretty much. Um, like I said, I usually don't get on an H1 or H4 entry, but when I saw this happen, we also saw the moving average crossover. And right here on my phone, I showed my RSI was at the very top as well as the Bollinger Bands were being touched so what does that mean very very overbought market it's probably going to drop on top of that we have the break in the retest and on top of that the moving average is crossed over very good sign that this was going to fall hard got in for a sell got in about or got out right about here um took my 50 pips dipped we were done there gbp jpy last night beautiful trade i showed you guys the markup as you guys can see break and retest on the 15 we would have drawn our Fibonacci from here to here. 382 rejection right under that little support slash newly found resistance. What happened? Price then flooded to the downside, smashing the next support zone that I had marked up. Um, we could have probably held to this support zone, but I kind of don't want to do all that right now. I'd rather just take my profits and run. With that being said, those are the last two trades we took. Let's get into the recap and kind of go over how this week went and then uh, talk about what's in store next. Okay, so honestly, we had a great week. Great week. I think we're at like $47. I'll go ahead and pop that on the screen. But we had a great week, man. Just a solid week where we kind of just took a lot of W's, man. And honestly, let me think. $10, 46%. growth, 460% growth. That's really good. That's really good for a small account. And I hope you guys aren't like kind of upset that I didn't grow it to $100 in one week. Like I'm trying to take things slow, look for very valuable setups so that way you guys can learn what type of setups I'm looking for. So that way you don't think I'm just like going to take $10 to $1,000 overnight. Like of course I can do that, but the risk that would be involved and the chances of that happening are very slim. It would take me 10,000 videos just to try and get that out for you guys. But I don't want to do that. I want to do this the right way and show you guys how to compound that account up nice and slow hit that 1k and then take that 1k take it to 10k eventually so on and so forth for you guys um so with that being said man we had a great week i hope you guys enjoyed the series I hope you guys enjoy the way it's set up if you guys do enjoy it make sure you go down below let me know you guys enjoy it and you want to see a part two so i can get that out for you guys another thing is you want to see the ball in your band the rsi little the little cheat sheet that i got with that kind of show you guys that strategy all by itself let me know in the comments below spam that like button 2000 likes i will get that out let me know in the comments though that you want to see the Bollinger Bands mixed with the RSI, that whole strategy in depth so I can really show you guys how to scalp it because it's very powerful. And if you guys use that with your other analysis, you're going to be deadly. So if you guys want to see that, please let me know down below and I will get that video out for you as well. With that being said, with that being said man, go down below. Get on my Instagram, follow me, like all my stuff. You don't have to do any of that. Or it, whatever. You don't have to do any of that none of it whatever you want at least join the free group because it's free and i send out like signals and i send out like markups and show you guys when a price is going up or when the price is going down and like when to look for fibonacci status blah 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 all that good stuff all in the free chat so go down below click that link get on there part two coming next saturday hope you guys enjoyed the video man i love you guys more than you'll ever goddamn know Camera upgrade, all these upgrades, man, it's all for you guys. So I really hope you guys are enjoying the content because I'm not going nowhere, man. I'm going to just keep posting, keep posting. And what else do I got to say about this week? Battery's running. That was easy. There we go. Woo! Battery just came out. Don't expect every week to be easy, by the way, guys, because it's not going to always be so easy. Like, you're going to have weeks where you just suck. But... Let's see how many episodes it takes for us to grow this account up. I'm excited to see it, man. I love you guys. Peace, Snake Gang. I'll see you later. I'm going to get some booze.